Stuff guys, welcome back to Reset Running with Dave. In today's episode, we're gonna be talking all things shoe rotation and why it's so important to have more than just one pair of running shoes. And I'll also be running you guys through my shoe rotation. Wait, Dave, so you're telling me that I have to buy another pair of shoes? My Nike Alpha Flies have done me wonders for two years now. I love them and they love me. Actually, now that I think about it, I've had that ITB issue and that soleus issue. Oh, and then there was that time I had that sore hip. Yeah, maybe it is time to get some new shoes. Actually, studies show that runners who rotated... Just kidding. Studies show that runners who rotated their running shoes had a 39% reduction in their injury risk. The researchers believe the injury risk was lower because of the different shoes produced different stack heights, patterns, and muscle recruitment. It is recommended to have a minimum of two pairs in your rotation, three if you're a more serious runner. Um, the first being for speed days, the second being for easy recovery days, and the third being for race day. The first shoe in my rotation is the Nike Air Tempo Next Percent. This is my much loved choice for speed and tempo sessions. It's comfortable, loaded with bounce, sprinting you forward with each step. It's got a super breathable upper, making it perfect for those faster sessions, um, ranging from 5Ks to even up to the half marathon. It's also true to size. You can wear it straight out of the box. Don't have to break it in. Um, and these usually go for around 270 a shine. My second shoe and possibly my favorite shoe today is the Hoka On Air On Air Mark 5. This is my easy run shoe of choice. It's a little bit dirty at the moment. I actually wore this on this morning on my 12Ks easy, but I absolutely love these things. This shoe, it's an up-tempo daily trainer with a good level of energy return. This shoe is both light and responsive, uh, which allows it to hold up under those faster paces as well. Um, you can run sub four minute Ks in this and be cruising pretty pretty nicely. Um, they definitely have a fair bit of energy return um, that kicks back with this. Um, and with a soft, well-cushioned midsole, it keeps my legs fresh after those uh, nice, long, easy runs. These usually go for about $250, that's showing. The third shoe that I'd like to highlight is the Adidas Boston 10. Um, I found that this shoe really works great for me in the gym setting, so like during my strength, and conditioning and my, my hit workouts. I also love to walk my dog Chili after lunch. So I needed a shoe that was nice and responsive and could look after my sore legs um, after those like big training sessions in the morning. I picked these up secondhand, 50 bucks. Bloody steel. These usually go for about 260 Australian, um, but yeah, just goes to show the power of buying things secondhand. Like these were literally brand new. The tread was amazing on them. They're a bit worn now because I've been flogging them. Um, but that's just how much I love these things. All right, the final shoe I have for my rotation is my race day shoe. Drum roll, please. There we go. The Adidas Adios Adi Zero Pro 3s. Fuck. The Adidas Adi Zero Adios Pro 3. That is a mouthful. The carbon energy rod infused super shoe uh, with continental grip is a perfect race day shoe option in my opinion. I wore these for my last 10K race, which I PB'd by like four minutes. Um, you know, not because of the shoe, but the shoe definitely helped. A lot of people love the Nike Alpha Flies. Um, I do agree like they are an amazing shoe, but they just don't suit my foot. They're too narrow. They gave me nasty blisters. Like long story short, I just didn't have a good time with them. Opting for a carbon plated shoe on race day, I think is just a no brainer as a runner. Giving you that extra energy return is what you need um, to get that PB on race day. Um, they're a little bit more on the expensive side. Uh, they go for about 340 Australian, um, which I do understand is expensive, but that's just the price you pay for super shoes these days. And it's just another reason why I don't use these in training. I'll, I've used them in training like twice to break them in before race day. Um, but now they just sort of sit in the box nice and clean um, and I'll bring them out on race day so I have that competitive advantage and they keep the spring in them for as long as, um, as, long as possible. They keep them nice and fresh. 
Um, I look forward to giving these a run next Sunday though uh, in my half marathon tester. So stay tuned for a video in the next week or two showing the results of that. All right guys, I hope you enjoyed today's video. If you give this one a like, that would really help me out. Share this with your running friends or anybody that you think that um, would be interested in this content. Uh, make sure you subscribe if you're new to the channel and welcome. And I'll see you guys next time. Peace. Hello? Yeah. Yeah.